Hello friends and welcome to my channel. In today's video we will talk about the clock of our organs from the body and how is function this clock. The human body is actually an energy system called in Chinese medicine the meridian system. The system shows the movement of energy inside the body similar to the blood that passes through the vessels. This system targets the whole body. The meridian system is divided into 12 meridians and each of them is divided into an organ such as the stomach, spleen, small intestine, large intestine, lungs, heart area, duodenum, liver and bladder. These meridians are also called the main meridians and are divided into yin and yang. The yin meridians are lungs, spleen, kidney, liver and heart. These organs store and process energy. Yin type meridians are the stomach, bladder, colon, the small intestine, gallbladder, duodenum, and colon. These organs exchange and excrete substances. These meridians operate for 24 hours and are divided into 24 hours interval. Each meridian reaches the top when the other touch the one at the bottom. The Chinese biological clock is also known as the body's energy clock. It shows the energy load in the body. Over a period of 24 hours, the energy moves within two hours inside the body's organs. If certain organs do not function optimally, the symptoms begin to appear. In traditional Chinese medicine, it is believed that each organ has its point of highest energy and lowest energy. This 24-hour cycle is believed to help us know when to exercise, eat, have sex, rest and sleep. It also acts as a way to communicate with a particular organ or meridian energy channel of the body. 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. it's the time of the large intestine, making it a perfect time to have a bowel movement and remove toxins from the day before. It is also the ideal time to wash your body and comb your hair. It is believed that combing your hair helps to clear out energy from the mind. At this time, emotions of defensiveness or feelings of being stuck could be evoked. 7 to 9 a.m. is the time of the stomach, so it is important to eat the biggest meal of the day, here to optimize digestion and absorption. Warm meals that are high in nutrition are best in the morning. Emotions that are likely to be stirred at this time include disgust or despair. 9-11 a.m. is the time of the pancreas and spleen, where enzymes are released to help digest food and release energy for the day ahead. This is the ideal time to exercise and work. Do your most task of the day at this time. Emotion such as low self-esteem may be felt at this time. 11 a.m. 1 p.m. is the time of the heart which will work to pump nutrients around the body to help provide you with energy and nutrition. This is also a good time to eat lunch and is recommending to have a light cooked meal. Having a one hour nap or a cup of tea 
is also recommended during this time. Feelings of extreme joy or sadness can also be experienced at this time. 1 3 p.m. is the time of the small intestine and is when food eaten earlier will complete its digestion and assimilation. This is also a good time to go about daily tasks or exercise. Sometimes vulnerable thoughts or feelings of abandonment may subconsciously arise at this time. 3.5 p.m. is the time of the bladder when metabolic wastes move into the kidney's filtration system. This is the perfect time to study or complete brain challenging work. Another cup of tea is advised as is drinking a lot of water to help aid detoxification processes. Feeling irritated or timid may also occur at this time. 5 p.m. is the time of the kidneys when the blood is filtered and the kidneys work to maintain proper chemical balance. This is the perfect time to have dinner and to activate your circulation either by walking, having a massage or stretching. Subconscious thoughts of fear or terror can also be activated at this time. 7-9 p.m. is the time of circulation when nutrients are carried to the capillaries and to each cell. This is the perfect time to read. Avoid doing mental activities at this time. A difficulty in expressing emotions may also be felt. However, this is the perfect time to have sex or conceive. 9-11 p.m. is the time of triple heather or endocrine system where the body's homeostasis is adjusted and enzymes are replenished. It is recommended to sleep at this time so the body can conserve energy for the following day. Feelings of paranoia or confusion may also be felt. 11 p.m., 1 a.m. is the time of the gallbladder and in order to wake feeling energized, the body should be at rest. In Chinese medicine, this period of time is when in energy fades and yang energy begins to grow. Yang energy helps you to keep active during the day and is stored when you are asleep. Subconscious feelings of resentment may appear during this time. 1-3 a.m. is the time of the liver and a time when the body should be asleep. During this time, toxins are released from the body and fresh new blood is made. If you find yourself walking during this time, you could have too much in energy or problems with your liver or detoxification pathway. This is also the time of anger, frustration and rage. 3 to 5 a.m. is the time of the lungs and again, this is the time where the body should be asleep. If walking at this time, Nerve soothing exercises are recommended, such as breathing exercises. The body should be kept warm at this time too, to help the lungs replenish the body with oxygen. The lungs are also associated with feelings of grief and sadness. Chinese medicine practitioners use this clock to help them determine the organ responsible for disease. For example, if you find yourself waking up between the hours of 3 and 5 a.m. each morning, you may have underlying grief or sadness that is bothering you, or you may have a condition in the lung area. If feelings of anger or resentment arise, you may feel them strongest during the time of the liver, which is 1-3 a.m., or perhaps if you experience back pain at the end of your working day, you could have 
paint of emotions of fear or perhaps even kidneys issue. The first question a Chinese doctor asks you is what time of day do you feel sick? Knowing this, he will also know where the problem is and where the energy point was at that moment. You can help your body by taking notes about the biological clock and when the symptoms manifest during the day. Also, write down when you feel the most energy, but also pay attention to what time during the night you wake up, usually because this may indicate that a certain organ is not working properly. I hope you have had learned something from the video. If you have questions, don't forget to comment. I will reply soon as possible to any comment. Thank you for watching my video and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.